Now, your news on the go. We start your news on the go with a traffic alert, a detour for your morning commute. The state DOT has just shut down the exit ramps from the throughway to I-81 North in Salina. This will stay in place until 3 in the afternoon. It's so crews can install noise barriers as part of the I-81 viaduct project. A detour will have drivers getting off at 7th North Street in order to get back to 81 North. Staying in Salina, we know at least one person spent the night in the hospital after a multi-vehicle crash. Right now, we know at least two motorcycles and one car involved. It happened just after 10 last night at the intersection of East Malloy and Medford Roads. That's just a couple of blocks away from Burnham Park, right behind the airport. According to 911 dispatchers, at least one person was taken to the hospital. This morning, we're working to find out who crashed into this auto shop in the town of Manlius. First responders racing to Route 5 early Saturday morning after receiving reports that a car had driven through the building. When our photographer got to the scene, debris was everywhere. As of this morning, it's unclear if anyone was hurt. Staying in the town of Manlius, parents can expect more police at Pine Grove Middle this morning after ammunition was found in a school bathroom on Friday. So police in the town of Manlius tell us students at Pine Grove Middle found ammo in a sandwich bag that was left in the bathroom ceiling. That student will not face criminal charges. This is in the ESM district, by the way. Switching schools now, three empty chairs will be allowed at Fulton's high school graduation on Friday. The decision coming after a Facebook post gained thousands of people's attention, pushing for empty chairs in honor of 16-year-old Brady Niver and his girlfriend, 17-year-old Riley Bartlett, who were killed in a crash last year in Granby, and a third student, Isaac Bartleman, who died back in 2020. It might be spring, but a winter time. Haven and Cicero is dealing with a major meltdown. The two ice rinks at Twin Rinks at the MAC have been shut down the past few weeks due to a chiller issue. After some maintenance, the Olympic rink is expected to reopen this week and the NHL size rink next week.